Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna to talk about nursing bottle syndrome or baby bottle syndrome, a topic very close to my heart. I've been advocating it for last 20 years and I'm hoping that when you listen to this video, you will also help prevent uh, cavities by spreading word. This disease affects kids less than five years of age and the damage caused by it is so extensive that these kids at young age will get crowns and fillings and extractions. Uh, it, is, it really destroys their teeth. So I want you to know that generally when kids fall asleep with the bottle in their mouth or breastfeeding or formula, they don't swallow the last part of the milk. They'll keep it in their mouth. As a result, the teeth soak in there and the bacteria get ample time to destroy their teeth. So that's why it's important that after your child turns one, you wean them off the bottle. Train them to drink with straw or a cup and also reduce the nighttime feeding. Remember one thing, after one first birthday, ideally speaking, we're supposed to brush our child's teeth, put them to bed and wake up in the morning. I've told you this before also, I'm a mother, it is not going to happen uh, overnight. We don't have a switch. So slowly and gradually we will take them off the bottle or at night. But until we do that, take a bottle filled with water and put it by your bed uh, side. And once your child is done uh, feeding at night with whether it's uh, the bottle or the breast milk, stick the water in their mouth. It will wash the leftover milk away and really help prevent those cavities. You can do the same thing if they nap. Uh, during daytime and they fall asleep having milk. Again, before we move forward, I would like to make uh, it clear that I'm not against breastfeeding. I really want you to breastfeed at least for two years. We're only talking about nighttime feeding, reducing it at night. Another big reason to get nursing bottle syndrome is juices. Juice has become a trend now. People are replacing water with juice. It is not a replacement for, wa uh, for water. It's a constant supply of sugar and acid to your child and it will damage. So do not give your kids juice. If you really want to give them juice, four ounces is more than enough with one meal. Also make sure you brush their teeth in the morning and at night and take them to dentist after their first birthday. So if anything is wrong, they will correct it when it's very minimal. Yet another way to prevent nursing bottle from happening is creating a routine. Have a routine for their feeding time. Breakfast, snack, lunch, and in between, give them only water. This will serve you two purposes. One, your child will really get hungry for the real meal. And also, because they are not constantly snacking, the food won't be sticking to their teeth all the time. Constant snacking is another big reason of getting cavities. So I hope with this video, I will be able to prevent your child from going through any such treatment and they'll have healthy teeth. Please do uh, spread the word, tell other parents, grandparents, so they can save their children. So until I'm back, until I make the next video, you guys have a wonderful day and I will be back again with yet another informative video. Bye everyone.